From 26 million in sales in his first year, almost hitting icon agent status in his second year, and now a few years on, he's topping the list last month in sales at our brokerage Canada wide. Daniel Hill has been on the channel before, but let's find out what's up recently. Let's find out his mindset, his approach, what he's doing lately to be so successful while other agents are worried or waiting in this market. I'm Callum Moore, eXp Realty real estate broker here in Ontario, and let's just dive right into it. So you have amazing achievements in your career. I've quick mentioned them in the intro, 26 million in your sales first year, what 3K off becoming an icon agent in 2023. And now you are topping the list for highest producing agents here at eXp Realty last month. Um, what's the secret, my man? Does the real estate market matter really? Or is hardworking paying off? What's happening? Uh, I don't think the real estate, I think you can still get really good business during a down real estate market. I think when it's going up, of course, you generate more leads. And I would say the consumers are a lot quicker when it comes to taking action because market gets busier when it's not. Maybe they a little bit like take longer to make their decisions. But uh, secret for me, I don't think there's so much as a secret. I feel like I've just kind of dialed into my marketing strategy, my branding strategy and uh, my schedule. I think, I think between those things and knowing what I need to do every single day and just staying dialed in and focusing on that one thing that I know consistently works for me and doing more of that, that's kind of my secret right now. What you have set up already to a certain extent means you are allowed uh, and we'll kind of get into this later because the fourth question on the list is going to be brand new agents. And I know a lot of brand new agents are watching this, but what you have set up now allows you to just keep the momentum going as long as you're working hard where a market doesn't matter. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I know that before, you know, which I think is a dangerous thing for agents, you're constantly worrying about your next lead. You're sitting there like, okay, I close a transaction or I have a client, but when this one's done, what do I do next? And when you build a pipeline in a funnel where, you know, you're sleeping and you wake up in the morning to new leads in your email, there's a pipeline that's consistently going and you're never worrying about where your next lead is coming from because you know it's always going to be coming. You can refine your systems and just focus on your schedule, focus on becoming a better agent and doing what you really do best and not having that stress, you know? Beauty. Absolutely love it, man. Okay. And we'll kind of circle around to some of the stuff you're saying, because that's kind of consistency, consistency and thinking long term. Let's get into mm -hmm. kind of the fun stuff. I know there's time codes and chapters along the bottom of this video. So navigate where you need to be. I suggest watching every minute of it. I finally got Daniel Hale on here. It did, I've had him before. It takes a while to get him again. He's a busy I'm man. Sorry. It's no problem. No problem. Okay. Um, all right. So, and I'm going to do this new thing, right? So cue the graphics right now. Uh, your real estate social media and in-person power rankings right i want to kind of talk on these things let's first go social media which platforms yeah. do you love which platforms should you be putting more time into right now i absolutely love youtube i am a i'm a very die hard pro youtube like if you speak to me and you talk to me about business i i'm a firm believer that as long as i have youtube i could probably grow any business that i actually want to start and do um, I like Instagram. I like TikTok. I, I like Facebook. I, I'm going to say I'm a fan of all of them, but I'm a fan of them for different reasons. But when it comes to really growing your business and a pipeline and having that like evergreen sales machine that they say, uh, YouTube is if you had to just give me one platform and I couldn't use any other one it would absolutely be YouTube. I'd pick that in a second. Man, isn't that crazy? Because obviously you have huge followings on everywhere. And then it's just yeah. that, and that's great. you got to diversify, of course. But the person mm -hmm. that watches you on YouTube, just like how people are watching this right now on YouTube, they're watching a little bit more content. Is that what it is? They're like, they're really mm -hmm. listening instead of scrolling. Is that kind of what you, you think? Yeah. And I think if you look at the model and business of YouTube and just the social media, Google and YouTube are synced together. Google owns YouTube and people go to YouTube for really, you know, two reasons. It's like that, like education of trying to learn something 
or to find like, finding information or sometimes entertainment for long form. So when you're doing real estate videos on like, for example, solving problems of, you know, a first time home buyer or a landlord that is having issues with tenants or something like this, people go to Google and they go to YouTube to actually search to solve that problem. And when your video pops up, and they watch it, it's like, why do I need to search anymore to find the agent that I need? He's now right in front of me, he's solved that problem, he's there. And then they opt in, they call you, they email you, they text you. And with Facebook and Instagram, I find, and TikTok, people go on there to see what family is doing, what people are up to, and they go on there for some quick little entertainment where they're scrolling for an hour and on to the next one, on to the next one. So I find to get a good solid lead on Instagram and Facebook, whether you're doing reels or shorts, whatever it is, you need to get at least like, you know, thousands and thousands of views just to get that one buyer. On Instagram, or on, I'm sorry, on YouTube, you could get like, 50 views, 100 views, but they're all there for that specific reason that they searched you for. So each lead or each viewer is so strong that all of them are potential leads, you know? So I think that I think that when you understand the algorithm of social media and how to make it work for you, you can just find your client that you like them to work with the most. Let's say it is a first time home buyer write down all the common questions that that first time home buyer consistently asks, then make a bunch of videos answering all of those common questions. And I promise you, if you post them on YouTube, you will continuously get that same client over and over and over again. It's like this weird repeated cycle of first time home buyers and it just doesn't stop. Too good. You know, you know, I love, of course I love YouTube. Okay. So too yeah. good. And then now there's software out there where you can repurpose it and the courses that we're putting together and helping each other. I just put a flow chart in there. I know you commented on it, like social media flow chart, how you could take one yeah. piece of long form content and move it mm -hmm. out through it. I'll maybe even put that flow chart up here right now. It's so cool. And then you've just done the hard work. You've done, you give me 10 hours, I call it. You're already doing it. Give me 10 hours a week and then eventually gets lower and lower. And then you're everywhere. You are on every single platform by making yeah. the hard work of YouTube. And you move on. Okay, so that's power rankings, social media, and then power rankings in person. Because of course we know face to face and voice to voice trumps a lot of things we do in this industry. Everyone knows this, right? So let's say power rankings in person, same as before. What you're doing, what you wish you were doing more of, and it's kind of like it could be connecting with your SOI via events or social gatherings or even phone right. calls. I know phone call. Uh, check-ins are huge it could be door knocking cold calling drop off stuff like that what are you doing what do you wish you were doing more of? yeah i think when it comes to like in-person stuff it it's, sounds like it's so easy but the truth is it's just more and more conversations all the time that first impression is everything you walk into the room try to have a smile warm and welcoming feel to you that people want to have a conversation you know um in-person stuff I'm going to be honest, I don't do any door knocking. I don't do any cold calling, you know, before I, I would be open to this and something that I'm not saying that I'm against doing it. I think it still is powerful in person though. I just, I try to ask people a lot of questions and, you know, try to meet somebody new every single day. If you can meet two to three new people every single day, even one person a day, that's 365 people a year and just build a relationship with them try to get a connection try to add them to your phone or add them on social media and try to ask that person more questions so you feel like that person is starting to think to themselves wow he's really engaging with me he's interested in asking me questions he's interested in me you know develop a relationship and have communication so i think in person is just try to be that little social butterfly because your your contacts are your contracts is what people say you know and if you have more contacts you get more contracts it's on point. I actually just watched, because uh, you and I kind of, we go to our, um, some of the masterminds now and wh wh where we are now, you go to these masterminds videos and you try to learn one thing, right? Try to be a forever learning student and learn one thing from a meeting. I know yeah. brand new agents and how we teach them, they'll learn hundreds of things in their first weeks, months mm -hmm. with us. But when you get to our point, you try to learn one thing. And one guy said almost exactly that. He's like, Listen, I'm in the guy. I'm the guy in the washroom chatting people up. <laughs> it's like yeah. I'm in the men's room having conversations with people. Like, yeah, no matter. If you can pull that off and have that mentality that everyone's a potential client, yeah. 
you're going to do well in this business. Uh, whether yeah. you're doing everything, cold calling, door knocking, just social gatherings, I think. Love it, man. Okay, yeah. move on. Question three. Okay, so now you're in the streets, of course. You are working every single day. You just told me about your tomorrow, and that sounds insane. If, if Is tomorrow, we had a meeting, we were talking before this, it is showings from 10 to 7. <laughs> you're, 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 in, you're in, this, you're in the yeah. streets every day. But you are also the founder of the On Agent Crew, an independent here um, in Ontario with EXP Realty. I know how amazing you are at helping other agents. I've seen it in action. It is fantastic, man. Oh my God, uh, blessing to have met you Thank because you. the people that I introduced to you, oh my God, you help them so much. Okay, so is this something, EXP and our crew, is this something that you are looking to grow, right? Working alongside and helping other like-minded agents yeah. or brokers? Yeah, absolutely. You know. Um... So it's interesting. I read a lot of books. I'm a big book reader. I read a ton. And I was reading the other day and in the book, it said that you are not truly successful until you make can help make other people successful. So you yourself can accomplish a lot of things. But when you really start helping other people accomplish a lot of things, you feel really good. And it's like more real success. And, uh, I do believe I can help agents scale their business and scale it very quickly. I don't, that it doesn't matter to me when they've started. Of course, there's a learning curve that they have to go through as an agent. But, you know, if you implement the strategies in the system of social media and, and just like kind of mimic the model, I would say, you can definitely accomplish a lot. But I love helping agents because I think that one, I know there are a lot of us. It is a tough industry. There's a lot of agents, but if you block out the noise and just focus on doing what's important and what can actually help you grow your business, you will be very successful. And there's a lot of things out there that can distract you. And when you first get your license, you're like, what brokerage do I, do I use? I jump into a brokerage. Okay. Now what do I do? Should I door knock? Should I cold call? Should I, you know, start um, doing social media? Should I go on Facebook Marketplace, start messaging landlords? You know, there's so many strategies there. And I feel like a lot of agents, they, they don't really know which ones to pick. And I love helping them solve those problems and figuring out what they're good at, helping them do more of it and just overall grow their business. But it's very, it's very fulfilling for sure to see agents come out super excited and help them keep that excitement by growing their business and making sure that you know, they're successful and the things that they're doing is working. Yeah, that's on point. Um, and it kind of like, it, it almost kind of leads into the fourth question because, and you kind of just said it almost, you you like to help them a bunch and there's so many ways to do it. You, they have to kind of set up a plan and a schedule of their own. Uh, but if this was like the fourth question, right? So what would you do? Like you personally, right? That's here. That's a better way to do it, right? Not what you're kind yeah. of, you can teach. Because basically what you're going to say basically is what's going to help people. But like you personally, right now starting from scratch right you know you've done it um and nothing's changed almost but let's say even now q2 yeah. 2024 what would you do as a brand new agent starting scratch from scratch yeah so if i was a brand new agent all over again the biggest mistake i feel i made when i got my license was i started like trying to figure out all the different forms of marketing and where you can get leads and I put a little bit of attention into every single one of them because I thought if I do them all, I'm just gonna have so many leads and so much business and this is just gonna flow in and it's gonna be crazy. If I could tell any agent that's just getting their license and it, it, to do something like that's gonna work, it's, it's pick one of them and just stick to that one until you see a lot of business coming through. Then you can kind of branch off and use the funds that you're, you're getting in to start investing some of that into the other branches, you know? And it's like, whether whether you're farming your neighborhood and you're just continuously farming that neighborhood for a while, the point where that whole neighborhood knows your name, that's one thing. Whether you're doing YouTube, you're punching out one or two videos a week and just sticking to that, that platform and sticking to it, or you're door knocking. But when you mix all of them, you get burnt out, you get frustrated, and you don't get as much business as you need as you should be getting because your your focus is everywhere and sticking to that one thing I, I can't stress enough how important it is and and how much you can then grow and especially as a new agent when you're just starting your business you don't have a ton of money to try to do a bunch of billboards and buses and all that stuff you need to find the organic routes that are going to help bring in leads organically 
And then you can start investing some of that money into growing your business with other branches later on. But just sticking to that one thing and, and getting really good at it, focusing on it and doing more and more of it. Find a niche, become a specialist. Like I could, yeah. I, I couldn't have been preaching this more from day one. I 100% agree. Not, yeah. not, not only is it an amazing way to grow a business, it's also a great quality of life that comes with it because you are becoming, yeah, your, your referrals come your way too because people want to work with specialists, yeah. right? Awesome. Okay. So we can talk forever. And in the future, I'm probably going to do the podcast and everything where I could just sit down and we just flow uh, for the time being. We'll keep it shorter on this. Where can people find you, my man? Like, right. If uh, agents, brokers, soon to be agents, yeah. uh, maybe here joining EXP, even, right? Stuff like that. I know people are changing brokers. Just, I know people are just joining. Where's the best way to reach out to you? Yeah, I would say Instagram. I'm Daniel Hale is my handle. Facebook as well. Um, Dan Hale on Facebook, but just send me a DM, reach out. You can email me. Um, I'm happy to help answer questions. If anybody that's getting started has any questions on what they should be doing, or if anyone has any questions of what's working well for me, just reach out. I'm happy to help. Okay, perfect. And we'll put all that information on the screen, which you can probably see right now, or just saw with Daniel's contact. And all this information is in the description below. Thanks, my man. I'm super excited to be working Bye. alongside you at this brokerage. You are an absolute legend. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's always good talking to you, man. Thank you so no, much. No problem. Thanks for coming on and we'll talk soon. All right. See you, buddy. Thank you. Ciao. I really hope that helped, guys. And if you are looking for more information on our brokerage and our independent team here in Ontario, reach out. You can DM, email, comment on this video, or book a one-on-one -on -one discovery meeting with myself in the description below. I'll put a really good EXP playlist as well right here if needed, if you wanna go a bit deeper into it before booking that meeting. My name's Callum Moore, EXP Realty Real Estate Broker here in Ontario. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.